Hello, in this video, we are going to learn about K-Turtle. K-Turtle is an educational programming environment which is used to teach children basic of programming. Programming is nothing but process of writing computer programs and a program or script is just a set of instructions telling the computer what to do. Like how we speak in different languages like English, Hindi, French, etc. Computers have their own different languages which they understand like C, Java, Python, etc. K-Turtle uses a beginner's language, Turtle Script, which is a programming language inspired by Logo. It is one of the easiest and simplest computer languages and is used to draw figures, type text and basic arithmetic operation. This helps to teach kids the basics of math, geometry, and programming. K-Turtle is named after the turtle that you can instruct and control on the screen using the turtle script command. Now, if you are Linux user, you can download K-Turtle from this site. Or if you are Windows user, you can download K-Turtle from this site. It is also available online at Rollap. Once you start K-Turtle, the main window will look something like this. Let's see different parts of K-Turtle main window. The editor is on the left where you type the turtle script commands. Most of the functions of the editor can be found in the file and edit menu. Canvas is in the center of the screen where the turtle makes your drawing based upon your commands given in editor. Inspector is on the right which gives information when your program executes. On top you will find the menu bar where you will find all the actions of Turtle. Menu bar has groups such as File, Edit, Canvas, Run, Tool, Setting and Help. Toolbar is located below menu bar and has buttons that allows you to quickly select the most used actions. Status bar is at the bottom of the window where you will find on the left the feedback on the state of K-Turtle. On the right side, you find the current location of the cursor which is line and column numbers. In the middle of the status bar, it indicates the current language used for the commands. The console bar on the top can be used to enter a one-line command and test it. The inspector and editor can be docked on each border of the main window or it can be detached and placed elsewhere on your desktop. Now let's come back to the small green turtle which sits in the center of the canvas. You can control the movement of the turtle by using commands in the editor. The turtle has a pen which draws figures on the canvas. When you give commands, the turtle moves on the canvas, leaving a line behind. This way figures are drawn in K-Turtle. Before learning the commands to move the turtle, let's understand some basic rules which we need to follow. As you know, we use the editor to type in the commands. We click next to number 1 to type our first command. Turtle accepts the command written in lowercase only. Always insert a space between a command and the number of steps or degrees by which the turtle should move or turn. Press enter to move the cursor to next line and type the next command. When you run kturtle, it will execute the commands in sequence. Once you have written your command or script, select run button on toolbar or select the run option from run menu or press F5 after typing a command to execute it. If you write something wrong, you will see an error screen which helps you to correct the error by giving the line number and highlighting the error. You can edit in the editor window to correct the error and press run again. Now what do we do if we do something wrong or if we want to start from the beginning again? As you see, Every time you press run, turtle starts again from the last position. What you do is, 
you use the reset command. This brings the turtle back to the center of the canvas and clears the canvas. You can run it on the console or it is recommended that you write reset as the first line of your script. That way your screen is cleared automatically every time you press run. Now let's learn different turtle move commands. Turtle can do three types of move. It can move forward and backward, it can turn left and right and it can jump directly to a position on the screen. Forward or FW command is used to move the turtle forward in the direction which is pointing. For example, the command forward 100 or FW 100 will move the turtle forward by 100 steps and draw a straight line. Backward or BW command is used to move the turtle in the direction opposite to where the turtle is pointing. For example, the command backward 100 or BW 100 will move the turtle 100 steps backward. Next we have turn left or TL command which moves the turtle to turn an amount of x degrees to the left. Example, turn left 45 will move the turtle to left 45 degrees. Now when you use a forward 100 command, it will move in this direction. Similarly, we have turn right or TR command. It turns the turtle to turn an amount of x degrees to the right. Example, turn right 45 will turn the turtle and then if you use forward, it will move in that direction. Turtle also has a direction or DIR command which sets the turtle direction to an amount of x degrees from turtle's original or absolute position and it is not relative to turtle's current direction as you see on the screen. For example, right now the turtle is at 45 degrees. If you do DIR 90, it will not do 45 plus 90. It will move 90 from turtle's home position. The center command brings the turtle to the center of the canvas irrespective of where it is. So if you see in the script, the turtle comes back to the center and the drawing is not disturbed. Also note it maintains the direction as is and that does not change. You can also use the go command to move the turtle to certain place on the canvas without drawing any line. The position of the top left corner of the canvas is given by 00. zero. The number of steps the turtle will move is calculated from that position. This place is x pixels from the left of the canvas and y pixel from the top of the canvas. So if we give go 100, 200 it will move 100 steps in x direction and 200 steps in y direction. Do note it maintains the direction or angle it has during the movement. KTurtle also has go x or gy command. Using this command, the turtle will move to x pixels from the left of the canvas while staying at the same height. Example, go x 300 moves the turtle to 300 steps from the left of the canvas. Similarly, it has go y or gy command if you just want to move on the y axis. The turtle will move y pixels from the top of the canvas while staying at the same distance on the x axis. Example, go y 100 moves the turtle to 100 steps from the top of the canvas. Note that the commands go, go x, go y and center do not draw a line when they are used. Now we will learn to draw some patterns. First is square. Here we just repeat rotate 90 and move 100 4 times to get a square. Next we will learn how to do a triangle. Here we actually repeat move forward 100 and rotate 120 3 times to get a triangle. You will notice that it is slightly tilted. If you need it straight, just add turn right 30 in the beginning. You will also see 
If you combine the square and triangle, you get a heart shape. Next is hexagon. Here we just repeat forward 100 and turn right 66 times. This will give us hexagon. With this we cover some of the basic commands in KTurtle. In our next video, we will cover some mathematical commands which can be used in KTurtle. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.